by Jonathan Amos BBC Science Correspondent Image Copyright XPRIZEE Foundation Image Caption Team Texas A. Teams will be invited in turn to showcase their technologies, starting in early November. They will have to chart at least 250 square km at depths down to 4,000 meters, and image 10 items of interest. The group that comes out on top will win $4 million. Second place earns $1 million. The Shell Ocean Discovery XPRIZE was launched in 2015 to find systems and approaches that could finally map the world's ocean basins to an acceptable precision. Currently, less than 15% of their bathymetry depth has been measured in a meaningfully accurate way. It is one of those truisms that the global surfaces of Mars and the Moon, because they have no water covering, are known in greater detail. Image captions Some of the deepest waters in the Mediterranean are off the Greek coast. The XPRIZEE Foundation is inviting eight teams to come to the port city of Kalamata. These international groups have devised all manner of autonomous airborne, surface, and subsurface vehicles to take on the task of mapping seafloor topography. They will each get about 10 days to set up their robotic systems in Kalamata, test them in SITU, before then dispatching them to the competition zone. The technologies have to be launched and recovered from the coast. The nearest entry point to the mapping zone is 15 nautical miles, 28 kilometers. The H Shell Ocean Discovery XPRIZEE finalists, ARGGONAUTS, Karlsruhe, Germany, Blue Devil Ocean Engineering, Duke University, US, CFIS, Arnex, Sir Nyan, Switzerland, GEBK and F Alumni, International, KUROSHIO, Yokosuka, Japan, Pisces, Portugal, Team Dow, Newcastle, UK, Texas A. The designated competition area is roughly 500 square km. The teams will get just 24 hours to map at least half of it, equivalent to an area the size of Paris, at a resolution of 5 meters horizontally and 0.5 meters vertically. It will be a tough challenge. The underwater systems will have to navigate a cold, dark and high-pressure environment that is more than twice as deep as the Grand Canyon in places. We chose the south coast of Greece because of its proximity to the deep sea, explained XPRIZE director Giodica Vermani. It has the land support that we need, and, of course, Greece has this wonderful history of going to sea and of invention, so it is perfect. Our partners, the Geo Consulting Company, Fugro, will already have made a very high-resolution baseline bathymetric map, and our judges will be comparing this with the maps produced by the teams. Image Copyright XPRIZEE Foundation Image Caption Team Dow is based in Newcastle in the UK. The first group to enter the competition area will be the Gebke Nippon Foundation alumni team. Many of its team members have gone through the Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping at the University of New Hampshire, US. Their solution to tackle the XPRIZ is to use a top-of-the-range autonomous underwater vehicle AUV, from the Norwegian Kongsberg Maritime Company. This will make the seafloor map with an echo sounder. But key to its operation is an uncrewed, British-built surface vessel known as Seacat. This boat will release and recover the AUV, thus meeting the requirement of having no human intervention in the competition area. Image Copyright XPRIZE Foundation Image Caption Gebke NF deploys and recovers the AUV using an uncrewed surface vessel called Seekit Gebke NF has just completed its final testing in Horn, Norway. The main goal of this testing was to get as much practice as possible in operating the system and at managing and processing the data. This we definitely achieved, said team lead Yulia Zareskaya. Image Copyright XPRIZE Foundation Image Caption Hidden Object, the design by UK-based artist Alexander Clark, we have come a long way in the last two years. We began from a point where there were six alumni and advisors, who had some exciting ideas on how they thought mapping could be done, but had no idea about how to build a mapping system. We now are at the point where more than 70 people from a wide range of backgrounds have contributed their time and effort and put together the fully operational innovative ocean mapping solution. 
the team is very excited to demonstrate this, she told BBC News. One side aspect of the challenge is that the teams also have to image 10 features on the seafloor in the process of acquiring their map. These could be things like animal life, a shipwreck, or a type of rock formation. The organizers intend, however, to place a special object in the competition area, hoping that the teams can find it. This object is a kind of trophy that has been designed by the UK-based artist Alexander Clark. Image Copyright XPRIZE Foundation Image Caption Team Pisces, like all the finalists, has been furiously testing its technology in recent weeks All eight groups should have gone through the Kalamata exercise by the end of the year. After the competition has ended, the high-resolution seafloor map will be given to the Greek research organization NCSR Demokritos, as it seeks to establish a neutrino telescope in the Mediterranean. The international scientific community has given itself until 2030 to make the most detailed map of the global ocean floor ever assembled. It is expected that many of the technologies showcased in the XPRIZE will play their part in gathering the necessary data. Image Copyright XPRIZE Foundation Image Caption Team KUROSHIO is representing Japan Jonathan. Amos-internet at bbc.co.uk and follow me on Twitter, at bcomos.